morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new cruise vlog Hello. so <laughs> martin's in bed <laughs> so i've literally just woken up so i've just grabbed the camera because we've just docked in madeira or we're waiting to dock but it's just beautiful um so i wanted to quickly show you <laughs> So we were just waiting for these two Aida ships to dock and now we're moving so we're gonna dock I'm not sure where maybe here so we just got ready the Sun is just starting to rise I have on my sunflower dress I've also put on this um, jumper just because it's a little chilly at the moment but it is meant to get up to early 20s so should be quite a nice sunny day I'm out um, of bed Martin's out of bed, he's all ready for the day too. And we have docked, so I will show you our view and then we're gonna head upstairs, grab a buffet breakfast. Uh, my parents are up there at the moment. So yeah, I'm really excited, it looks beautiful. So here we are, the sun is rising. Absolutely stunning. So we're off the ship, we're in Funchal. We're just walking now to the cable car. It's actually really hot as well. They have all these different ship artwork as you're walking in. I haven't seen PO yet though, but I believe it is on there. There's a PO one there, Ruby Princess. Uh, got some Tui ones. Oh, Morella Discovery. Discovery 2. Discovery 2. Ah, oh, nearly. <laughs> it was nearly our ship. So, in the lead up to this cruise, all I kept hearing was that it was going to be cold. I know. <laughs> oh, look, I'm telling me all Madeira is going to be the coldest place, but I'm boiling. Well, what happened is, <laughs> so I typed in Madeira into my like iPhone and it was like 10 degrees cooler. Then I typed in from Chal. So, I don't know whether it's like different because I was more specific. It was like 10 degrees hotter. <laughs> so it's like early 20s today, so it's perfect and it's so sunny. It's like a microclimate. Yeah, here. I'm not complaining, but I am going to have to take my jacket off. So, we walked out the terminal and then we're just continuing around this way. We've got some other ships in. Two Aida ships. Bigger. And so, this is why the cable car can get a little bit busy. So we pre-booked our cable car tickets. Yeah, if you're wondering where my family are, they're on their way. They're a bit later than us because uh, we wanted to get out as soon as. Uh, but they're hopefully going to meet us up the top. Yes. We're going to the, uh, we've just seen it, I can't remember the name. Monty Palace. The Tropical, Tropical Gardens. Gardens. Yeah, we pre-booked our cable car tickets because if you don't do that, then you've got a queue to get the tickets and then join the queue to get yeah, in the okay. cable car but we can bypass the queue to get the tickets now. Little comparison, there's our ship. So we were like the furthest away. Yeah, this is the best spot. <laughs> the best berth, that's the berth that you watched a vlog. I'll someone vlog, was yeah. there. Because someone was like, oh, the walk's not too long. <laughs> it's for us. <laughs> we wonder if we can just go straight in here. Or oh, is this fed by the tickets? So we're just in the queue for the cable car. There wasn't actually that big a line yeah. for the tickets, but <laughs> we just walked through and then joined this. It's moving quite quick though. So people are buying tickets from over there and then joining the queue here. So that's the queue now for people buying tickets at the ticket office. So it's actually going all the way outside. So we're almost there. It's been about half an hour, I think, since we joined. We just got off of the cable car. It's actually a little bit longer than we thought. Yeah, it's very high. About 10 minutes, <laughs> um, but really lovely views. And then you come out of the top here, there's some restaurants, there's some viewing points, and then we're gonna head over to the tropical gardens. So they have these signs as you exit. So you've got the toboggan this way, and then I think you have a viewing point that way and restaurants. But we're gonna head to the tropical gardens first yes. and then myself and Martin might try and conquer the toboggans. Dad and Mum are gonna sit the toboggans out. So they actually got a return ticket, didn't you? So you could get the cable car straight back down. Yeah. 
So we just got our tickets and then we're straight in. That was really simple. Mont Palace. Literally right outside. I think it has a cafe and restaurant as well. If you wanted to stop off and get a drink up here. Looks so pretty, especially when the sun's shining. So this floor is quite bumpy. Um, I've got sandals on and I'm okay, um, but I think you wouldn't want to be wearing like flip-flops. I'd probably advise trainers. So I think this down here is called the Veranda Romeo Juliet. There you go, so you stay over there and then you take a photo. You're on the Romeo Juliet Veranda. Feature, and I'm from Newcastle, so I love a bridge. <laughs> I've got a combo here. <laughs> got some flamingos, they've got a fan club. Big fish! I want some goldfish that grew that big. Well, maybe that not big? that big, but <laughs> he definitely grew really what big. What were they called again? Um, I had. Oh, one called Marilyn. No, one called Audrey after Audrey Hepburn, and one called Ginger after Ginger Spice. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm going behind a waterfall. It's the backside of water. It really is stunning here, in the sunshine as well. So I don't even know if we've said the name of the place. What is this called? Mont Palace? Yeah, it's a tropical garden. So it's called Mont Palace Tropical Garden. Oh, okay. But there's also a botanical one somewhere, is there? Yeah, there's a botanical one as well. But you have to get a different cable car to that one. I see. These are pretty. So this is a good one if you want to do the toboggan, because you get the same cable car for the toboggan and this. Yes. There's so many bits to it. Yep. I think I'm going to try and take a photo with me standing over here and Helena on the bridge. So it's 15 euros to get in here and I'd say that's a really good price. It's huge. Yeah, it's loads of it. Really, really big. You could spend a lot of time here. I'd say definitely a couple of hours if you want to like fully explore it. It also has some cafes and restaurants. So you could have food here as well, and especially on a nice sunny day, it's beautiful. Don't know if you can see, but peeking through the trees, there's the Piano Azura. It looks so small, it's so high. Huh? Bit closer. We're still going. <laughs> Got this viewing window. There's a fish inside here. Look at the view! Walking along to a viewing platform. So that's where we started our day, all the way down there. <laughs> To live out my Indiana Jones dream now. <laughs> well, that worked out. It was lucky, wasn't it? We found the cafe, and then Nikki, Matt, and David are just here. <laughs> that was really pretty, that bit. Yeah, really hilly. nice. <laughs> it is hilly <laughs> and quite uneven ground. Yeah. So I just picked this up. It says original of Madeira. So it looks like an original Madeira soft drink and then a not so traditional milk. <laughs> <laughs> How was the coffee? It's all right. Quite nice coffee. Price. Yeah. It's lovely, nice and hot. What was that cake you had, Dad? Well, I'm not sure about that, but it was nice. <laughs> no. Don't recommend it. Thumbs up from me. It's very nice. <laughs> very good. So we're heading back up to the top. He looks so peaceful. Spotted the cat. Now that was a hefty walk. We well, did do it all in one go though, to be fair. Yeah, you could stop along the way. Stop. But I mean, because it was all downhill to start off with, but coming back, it was all up. <laughs> so yeah, we've come out of the tropical gardens and now we're going to go around and see what the queue is like for the toboggan. What's the time? 
So I didn't know about this, but Helena, Helena in our research found out that you can get a toboggan halfway back down. Yeah. <laughs> So we've been queuing for the toboggan. Very important, get your ticket from this stall and then join the queue. So this is what we're going to go down on. <laughs> so we've been in a queue for about 50 minutes, 50 which minutes. is actually not as bad as I thought. When we saw the queue, we were like, we're going to be here for hours. Yeah. And we might, I think we're going to get on just under an hour, so not too bad. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Fast. It's fun. So I think these are the special shoes, the special toboggan shoes. So we did the toboggan. <laughs> that so, was so fun. I'm so glad we did wait for it. Just we were like we weren't sure how long it was gonna take. Yeah. But um, thankfully it went quite quick, so an hour. The line is long and it looks really long, but it, it does move um, quite, quite quickly. Yeah, I think what happens is they all go down and then there comes a point where they all have to like make their way back up before they can send the next yeah. people. But, so uh, it'll move like, quite quick and then it'll slow down for a little bit and then it'll move quick again. But it's crazy, like the way that they can control that, I the know. skill. The amount of times I thought we were going into the wall. <laughs> they can get right to the edge of like the path and they can get right like next to, you know, a car that's parked yeah. on the side of the road and they can... Even motorbike, we had a motorbike coming down at one point. They're just so good. Also, we are walking down but you can get a taxi down. Yeah. Um, because it is quite steep. That's how steep it is, so yeah, it brings you halfway down and then we're just walking down so we can uh, get closer to the ship. Then we think we're gonna explore even more. Yeah, have a look at the old town, I think. We don't set sail until 9.30 tonight, yeah, so we, have the whole day. we have a lot of time. We can have dinner out if you want it. Like, this is steep to the point where we're sort of leaning backwards oh. and you could just run down it. I can feel my thighs burning. So definitely, if you... If you've got any sort of knee, especially yeah. any sort of like leg injury or like something like don't get the taxi get the taxi because this is a workout yeah <laughs> we couldn't carry on any longer that was a war <laughs> that was steep honestly i would probably suggest getting the taxi unless unless like it was nice because like you saw like the lovely like view yeah but it was really steep and i think <laughs> i had sandals on that probably made it harder yeah um, but then uh, we found this little square. So we stopped for some food and some drinks, got myself a beer. The guy's very friendly. Yeah, we're an yeah, easy, we're, we're an easy, easy, easy target right now. Because we'll just say yes, because we're tired and hungry. <laughs> but we thought, let's just stop at the first place because otherwise we'll do that thing where we just walk and walk and walk yeah. and then don't stop. So we got some traditional uh, garlic right. bread. And oh, this looks good. Oh, it smells nice. So this <laughs> is Huge! <laughs> so what did you go for? Chicken salad. So it's got chickpeas, chicken, tomatoes, carrot, cucumber, loads. And then I went for a mixed omelette. So this is where we just had food and we'd really recommend it. Yeah, you got really good portions. <laughs> and a uh, decent price as well. Yeah. So we found a market. Have a little peruse. So we found a street where they've got different paintings all the way along. Street art, and then it tells you about it next to it.
found this sign, Rua de Santa Maria. So we've ended up back <laughs> at the cable car. I really like that street with all the street art. Rue de Santa Big Maria. Picture. Might be because we ended up at the Santa Maria like church. Yeah, there's and really there's cool. loads of restaurants, so loads of places so to eat many. and drink. It was Rue. Yeah, you're right. Rue de Santa Maria. Yeah. So much street art. Cable car's definitely not as busy now, there's nobody queuing out the door. Yeah, I guess you, I don't know what time the toboggan stops, but uh, we can go up a little later. So earlier on, when we, so like, we went in where you get your, t where the ticket booth is. But I'm guessing that if the queue is on the outside here, yeah. and you don't need to go inside, then you can just join the queue outside if you've already got a pre-booked ticket. You've got an e-ticket, yeah. yeah. Twenty-three thousand two hundred and twelve steps later, we are back in the cabin, and we decided to pop up and get some treats. So I got a little fruit bowl. We got some scones. Helma's got a, is that a plum, and then I think this is Rocky Road. So it's a little bit later on. Martin had a little bit of a snooze. He's just getting ready, and then I popped over to my parents, had a little sit down. But look at Madeira now. I love it. I love it. So I've just got ready for the evening. I have popped on this lime green dress and we're going to head to Planet Bar because we haven't actually been there yet. So we're going to go there for a pre-dinner drink and then head to the Oriental restaurant for our dinner. And then we're hoping to catch the sail away because I think it's going to be stunning because it already looks so pretty and it's not like pitch black yet. Mum and Dad are here, and we, we haven't actually been to this bar yet. It's called Planet Bar, and it's right at the top of the ship. Deck 18 has an amazing view outside. And then we're just having some cocktails. So we're back in the Oriental for our evening meal. It's a soup starter. Everyone's gone for soup. <laughs> well, everyone except Matt. So me and mum have quickly run away from dinner. Um, we've skipped dessert because we want to run up to the top deck and watch the sail away. So I just ran back to the cabin and popped on a blazer because it might be a little bit chilly up there. But we're going to go up and yeah, see the Madeira sail away. I think we're just starting to move. Um, I can feel the engines. So yeah, fingers crossed we make it. <laughs> So it's uh, the next day, we didn't actually uh, vlog after the sail away from Madeira. Helena and Nikki ran up and then caught the uh, sail away and did a bit of the silent disco. So then after the sail away and the silent disco, we went to see uh, the show Blame It On The Boogie. Then we came back to the cabin and we crashed. So <laughs> <laughs> we're picking the vlog back up. We are on another sea day. So there's a few events happening around the ship. I didn't go to the gym this morning, so I'm gonna go this afternoon. And uh, we're about to head off to breakfast. We're gonna to go to the same place that we have our evening meal to see if it's a bit quieter than the peninsula, which we ate at the other day. See if our plan works, because... <laughs> Sorry, I've only just woken up. <laughs> um, so the peninsula is in the middle of the ship and the Oriental restaurant is at the back. 
back, is that yeah. right? Or the front, yeah, at the back. So we're thinking that the peninsula, because um, it's easy to get to, is a little bit busier for breakfast and the Oriental restaurant might be quieter, so we'll let you know. So we've got some granola, fruit salad, Thank and you. some toast. Oh, yeah. Helena's gone for the avocado on toast. Back from Brecky, and that was definitely quicker, wasn't it? Definitely quicker. In and out within an hour, but that's yeah. within our time. Yeah, and we just went in like 15 minutes before the end yeah. as well, so 9.45, and then I think they stopped letting people in at 10. We're back in the cabin. I'm going to go out on the balcony. I love having a balcony. And uh, read a bit of my book, and then I'm going to go to the gym, and you're going to meet up with your mum. Yeah, I think we're going to go up to the top there. So whilst Martin's headed off to the gym, I'm gonna pop round, see my parents, and then we might go for a drink up on the top deck, get some sun before we try and do the syndicate quiz again. And we're hoping for a win this time because we have my dad and I feel like every sort of basis is covered now because um, all the questions that we got wrong last time, my dad got right. So I'm hoping for a win. Wish us luck. We've got Dad with us today. Aww. We got one more point than last time, so thank you, Dad. Yes, well done. Although he I, helped I, us a little bit. I talked David out of an answer. Which was right. <laughs> we got seven right that time. We'll take it. <laughs> so we're on to our next challenge of the afternoon. We're up on, I believe this is deck 16, Breakers Bar. We have the coral pool just behind, but we're up on the top deck, views of the sea, and then we're going to take part in the full house party bingo. No luck at the bingo either. We were one, two, we were three away. Afternoon tea time. Make sure the pencils go back. <laughs> Cruise director Martin is out in full force. <laughs> So we just had afternoon tea and it was lovely. So it only happens once on one of the sea days. Um, so definitely look out for it because it was really quiet. It was just, yeah, Not it was really nice. You it, can just sit down and enjoy afternoon tea. And they just keep bringing you more. Yeah. <laughs> deck number 16 at the aft which isn't really where we wanted to be we wanted to be uh, at the front <laughs> but it allows us to show that uh, this is where the kids club is so it's called the reef this is what these signs are for search for sean he's hiding in 11 places around the ship download the free app now and scan the sean markers We caught a bit of the band playing in the Malabar and they were fantastic, yeah, they so talented. Like, a, like an orchestra. Yeah, and there's not loads of them, but the sound that they make, oh, it's just brilliant. They so, play yeah. some like, theme tunes to um, shows yeah, and things. Yeah, so I loved that. And then we are now going to go 
for our first ever experience as guests on a cruise ship uh, going in the pools. So yeah, we're going to leave this camera here, but we'll take along the GoPro. Getting acclimatised first <laughs> to the Actually, water. Quite warm. So we've started off at the aqua pool. They've got a screen here as well, so they've been playing movies, but it's in the middle of like the movies being shown now. So we've got these different visuals. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's quite deep. I can't stand up. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> They got a shower there for before and after, and then they got these hot tubs as well. So we move from the aqua pool, and then we literally just go round here, and we're at the coral pool. We're on a pool crawl. So yeah, this is the coral pool. So this is where a lot of the entertainment happens as well. So like earlier, we played musical bingo. It's a bit like a wave pool. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> so we're on to our third pool. This is the Oasis pool. Yeah. So you've got the retreat, which is there, which you've got to pay for. And that's gated, but you can still use the pool. So here we are, adults only, Oasis pool. And the whirlpool is free. <laughs> And then these seats look quite comfy as well, around the outside. On our way to pool number four. And that's all of them covered. Uh, that oasis one was cold. They've been in the shade. Yeah. The whirlpool was so nice. Oh, yeah, whirlpool was nice. That's eerie, that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like, so these uh, models are sort of around different decks and areas, and you've got that statue just looking down. many hidden spots for some beds we're going all the way to the top up the stairs ah this is the sports court you've got basketball nets and then loads of sun loungers so that was a successful pool hopping session wowzers that was really good <laughs> so to <Peacock> cover <laughs> <laughs> to cover we went in the... what was the first one we went in? The first to? one we went in was the aqua pool. Aqua, then coral, coral. or coral, then oasis. oasis. Then terrace. Then terrace. And all really good actually. The yeah. terrace pool was so much warmer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, oasis were... pool was probably the coldest. Yes. Because it was in the shade, I think. Because it was in the shade all day, but the whirlpool. And it was also so the, the quietest. Yeah. Aqua pool is probably my favourite. I like that one with the yeah. screen. It was just a really nice pool. So I'm glad we got in the vault. Yeah, me too. But then Helena's a bad influence. We walked past the pizza and we haven't had any. And it's pizza by the slice, which is good. So you yeah. don't have to have a whole pizza. You can get that on the coral deck. So I'm going to enjoy this with a cup of tea. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're all dressed for celebration night number two because you have two celebration nights on this ship. Mm -hmm. We didn't on Iona. No. Uh, but on this ship we have two celebration nights. So I actually wore this for celebration night on the Iona but it's this H&M dress. I just love it. It's so comfortable. I love the colour and yeah Martin's in his suit again. The usual. The usual. We're going to rock. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to... This is tomorrow's. So we're going to head downstairs to the Malabar. No, it's Manhattan. <laughs> oh, I better tell Matt. <laughs> you Malabar, told them the wrong venue. Um, to see Pulse. They're doing like a rock 
night. Mm -hmm. And we haven't actually watched them yet, so we're going to do that. But I need to quickly tell my brother, because I told him the wrong place. <laughs> and then we're going to head for some food. And then probably the Playhouse Theatre to watch Ben Moss. Yeah, who I know. Yeah. Uh, he came on quite a few times to The Dream and uh, The Discovery. And he always wanted to be a guest actor, so I'm so pleased for him. <laughs> Really good evening. Oh, food, brilliant. The food has been so good, hasn't it? This yeah, place. yeah. I had the king prawns and mm -hmm. then we had the chicken satay. Is that is it? It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a, a raspberry souffle. And I had a trio of chocolate, which was really, really good. Yeah. But whilst we were eating, I was literally falling asleep. <laughs> I was so tired. But I powered through, and I'm so glad I did because yeah. we went to see Ben Moss yep. in the Playhouse Theatre, and he was so, fantastic. It was so, so good. good to see him doing so well and on the big yeah. stage. Yeah, and. Yeah, the choice of songs were just really good, like a real eclectic mix. Mm -hmm. um, his voice is really unique and yeah, yeah. just, re yeah, amazing. Very powerful, very raw, and loved it. His guitar playing as well. Oh, yeah. Insane. Yeah, Starry, really, really Starry good. Night. If he's uh, a guest actor on a cruise that you're on, definitely go see the show. Mm -hmm, 100%. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to bed because we are super tired <laughs> and we're actually going to leave this vlog here. Yes. Uh, the next vlog will be La Palma. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're going to walk into, there tomorrow. Yeah, going to walk into and have a little bit of explore. Yeah. But yeah, we will see you next time. So if mm -hmm. you like this one, hit the like button and also subscribe. See you soon. Bye. Toodle pipski. I'll be alive.